In this video, we will plot two-dimensional von Mises and Hill 48 yield functions together with experimental data found from uniaxial tensile tests. This is three-dimensional von Mises yield function. It looks as this in two-dimensional principal stress space. Similarly, for Hill 48 yield function, this is the three-dimensional representation and this uh, expression is in two-dimensional principal stress space. We will start with two-dimensional von Mises yield surface plot. Defining sigma 1 and sigma 2 as x and y, we will write the yield function yf. So basically this part of the equation is written here. Plotting of this yield function will be done using this f contour function. We named this contour Mises. This contour has multiple parallel curves. We are interested at the curve that has the level same as initial yield stress. So we set the level by calling the name of this contour dot level list and then equal it to the initial yield stress. Next we define the size of the window of the plot and uh, the minimum and the maximum limit of this plot is uh, advised to set double of the initial yield stress. So it is 10, so we set it minus 20 to 20 and same for x. Let's run the code and see the plot. This is how the yield surface looks when it is plot in two dimensional principal stress plane. And for Hill 48 yield function, again, this is the three dimensional representation and this is the two dimensional principal stress plane representation of the yield function. As previous, we will define this so x and y as a sigma 1 and sigma 2 and then write down the yield function as named yf. However, note that we now don't know the value of this constant fgh. We can use the yield stresses from 0, 45 and 90 degree orientation tensile tests. These to optimize these parameters f, g and h, including some additional parameters n. So finally, we have the value for this constant. You will find a video link in the description of this video that explains this optimization parameter for a Hill 48 yield function. So we use this constant parameters. Next, similar to von Mises, we will use this f contour function to plot the hill surface. One difference is how we set the level list for this hill surface. We will set it to 100, which is the square of the yield stress at zero degree orientation. So just to notice that for von Mises plot, we used 10, but for hill surface plot, we are using 100, which is the square of number 10. And the range in y and x of this plot remains the same as uh, von Mises, which in this case is uh, two multiply root over of 100. So this is the code for Hill 48. Let's see how the plot looks. This is the plot of Hill 48 yield function in two dimensional principal stress space. Now for comparison, we will plot von Mises yield surface, then this hill yield surface, together with these two yield points. First yield point is the initial yield limit of a zero degree orientation tensile test. And uh, the second yield point is the initial yield stress from a 90 degree orientation tensile test. And finally, with some legend to distinguish between different plots. So let's run this code. This is what we get finally. It shows how Hill 48 yield function nicely crosses the experimental data point both at zero degree and 90 degree tensile test. However, von Mises yield function only crosses it at zero degree tensile test. And by that, this anisotropy at zero degree and 90 degree is captured by Hill 48 yield function, which could not be captured by typical von Mises yield function. The code for this yield surface plot and comparison can be found in the description of this video.